Hey guys, Chris with RC Worst here. Welcome back to another great video. Today we're going to be showing you three new control panels added to the RC Worst lineup that you're going to get pretty excited about. So stay tuned. All right, so here we are. We've got ourselves three new control panels that I want to talk to you about. These were designed by RC Worst and Company, me, my team. We all had input on these. We have so many years of field experience, so much experience working with other companies' control panels that we finally decided we were fed up with all of the shortcomings, all of the issues that you inevitably run into. You'll find one control panel over here that you like for this reason, but it doesn't have this feature, or this control panel over here, vice versa. So we went ahead, bottled up all of our years, our decades of experience, and put these panels together. The great thing about these control panels is they are very, very, very versatile. That's three varies in case you lost count. So to keep you uh, kind of up to date here, we've got the duplex, mat duplex model. This is the simplex model. These are called our dual mode control panels. And these two panels I would consider very deluxe panels in that they offer a dual mode function. Now what is that? That is a time dose or demand dose operation. Meaning you can either run the system strictly based on float levels or you can set it up for a time dose system. So if you're asking why would I ever need a time dose system? Well those systems generally are um, pretty specific so if you don't or weren't instructed to have a time dose system let's say when you got your your permit and the design approved then chances are you don't need that functionality but what's nice is since we've built these panels in a very streamlined way you're getting a lot for a little in terms of cost uh, the the other panel that we have on the table here this is also a simplex panel it is not dual mode meaning that it strictly operates on demand dose and so this panel would be described as your electromechanical panel whereas these panels actually have a little brain inside or some circuitry inside that allows it to perform a variety of functions so also what's worth talking about or mentioning is that these panels are designed as I said for maximum versatility to basically minimize the number of panels you have to stock as an installer and uh, help you to keep your inventory low, your costs of operating low, while covering a wide variety of applications. All the panels that you see here are rated for 120, 240, and 208 volt single phase. We haven't yet stepped into the realm of three phase yet. We wanted to see what kind of success we could get with these panels, get some field time with them, and see how they go. Now, I personally have gone through these panels tooth and comb and nail, whatever that saying is, and uh, basically with a lot of detail, and I am super happy with the construction quality of these panels. Great enclosures, high quality um, plastic type NEMA 3R, or actually 4X type controllers. Um, you can see this one here has these fancy LED lights on the front that's gonna have the flasher. Uh, all these, of course, have a buzzer on them. This one has the, uh, has the speaker protruding out the side here. Um, these panels have um, a fantastic warranty. I can't remember if it's three years or five years, so we'll just put that right there. Um, but either way, it's, it's a fantastic warranty and, of course, a uh, high-quality product. So these panels are built. They're called AFS panels, which is a, a manufacturing name that RC Worst & Company uses for its uh, specialty products. And so this happens to be one of those specialty products. And so what I think we have probably ought to do next is dive in and open some of these panels up and just kind of see what we're working with. All right, so I've got all three panels opened up here so you can kind of get a look of what's going on inside. Obviously, the control panel here on the left being a duplex control panel, this thing is packed like a can of sardines. But what we've done is we've made the terminal strip down at the bottom here still very easy to access, very easy to work with. It's actually set back from, or set forward from the back of the box to maximize uh, your ability to access the interior of the panel. Uh, of course, this panel over here, the, the simplex electromechanical panel, it's got plenty of space in there. This panel is priced to move. For, so for your very basic simplex 
um, demand operated systems where you're just looking to use a float switch uh, to run the pump system, this panel is going to do the job very nicely and give you plenty of room to work inside. Now these two panels, as I mentioned, they are uh, somewhat intelligent panels. They have some circuitry. So this little black section here, this is the circuit board that uh, allows it to have a brain, so to speak. And uh, I'll roll through some of the quick functionality of what you can get with these panels. They've got uh, everything from cycle counters, float positions, circuitry testing. Uh, and so let's just jump right into that. So I forgot to mention the label inside these panels or labeling inside these panels is really cool. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of show some of that really quickly as well. Um, so let's just check it out real quick. So you can see uh, inside of the panel here, you've got all of your uh, wire, or sorry, your terminals numbered, and then the corresponding location for what those terminals go to and how to hook that up uh, makes it very simple. We've got some instructions over on this side in terms of how to navigate the uh, menu here and some troubleshooting assistance and kind of what to look for, what to expect. Uh, here's a quick glance at the duplex panel. It's got more of the same information as well. You can see here's that little uh, terminal link that I talked about that, that can change this thing to redundant off functionality. Uh, but just have a quick look at how cram-packed this panel is. Uh, and it, it's fantastic because it just makes it super compact. You don't have a huge obnoxious panel on the wall. And then like I mentioned, uh, back here there's probably like an inch and a half worth of space, maybe two inches worth of space. So what we've done is pull all these components as far forward as we could just for ease of access in here. So even though it's super compact and super confined, uh, it's still relatively easy to work on this thing. Uh, and one other thing that I probably should mention or show you here. So here's the front of the dual mode panel. You can see you've got control power lights, alarm power lights, uh, as well as the pump run light. So one more thing, one more tool to help you with the troubleshooting. Also the cool LED light, I like that one. Uh, this is the simplex panel. This one has the pump run light located inside of the panel. And then this one, of course, has the traditional HOA switch you can see here, if I can point the camera the right direction. Um, and so, like I said, this, this particular panel is, is your basic, uh, more wallet budget friendly, uh, but not quite as versatile. So if you're trying to maximize your, your inventory in, in terms of versatility, I'd definitely be looking at these two guys. They are pretty fantastic. So, all right, so I haven't mentioned yet, but these three panels are all rated for 20 full load amp current. So they're gonna run uh, pretty well, even up there in the higher horsepower pumps, depending on what voltage you're dealing with. Um, a lot of the panels that I deal with in the field, unfortunately are rated to these odd voltages, like, or uh, current, sorry, uh, like 16 full load amps or 18 full load amps. So we just went ahead and rated it based on what the breaker is in the box and made it very simple. And um, so it's gonna work on probably 90, 95% of the applications where you're gonna need a panel quickly uh, for those just, they call you up next day, need a panel or, or what have you, field troubleshooting. So one other thing that's worth mentioning with these panels is that to simplify the, the items that you need for the job, you the installer, again, trying to reduce your inventory, uh, all of your float switches for even these redundant off panels are just gonna be normally open switches, meaning that you one less item that you have to have on your truck if you're using these control panels. So um, it makes it very simple, just all three or four floats are just gonna be your normally open float switches and uh, away we go from there. So another thing that we're doing for you guys is we're gonna make sure that we always have these control panels in stock. I would like to have a large inventory of these control panels because I have a feeling that once you get your hands on them, you're really going to enjoy working with these panels. Very easy to troubleshoot, very easy to install, very versatile, and also very, very low cost, which is fantastic. Um, it allows you to either make more on jobs that you're doing or charge your customers a little bit less and be that much more competitive without giving anything up on your bottom line. 
So don't forget to check these control panels out on rcworst.com. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to our sales team. We're happy to answer any questions that you have. And of course, due to our familiarity with the product and the fact that we put it all, pulled it all together, uh, if you need in the field troubleshooting assistance or you need help selecting which one of these panels is gonna work best for your application, don't even hesitate to reach out to us. We're gonna help you out. All right, folks, it's that time of the video where I ask you to please subscribe uh, for future content like this and make sure you leave a comment below and a like if you like the video. Uh, I'm anxious to check out the comments on this one uh, because I think that you guys are gonna get excited and I'm willing to answer any qu quick questions on the comment section below. So for that, we'll catch you next time.